Hi, my name is Nick Paez. I'm a PGA instructor here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here with a friend and colleague, George Bingham. George is a PGA member for 54 years and has a wonderful record on the PGA Tour. He's played in 60 events and has 60 cuts made. And we're here today to talk about the radius and really what the radius is. You can see it's the, around our necks here, and uh, it's something that you know, all the good players do. George, can you tell us really what the, uh, what the radius does? Radius is the outer circle in, in the golf swing. Uh, I thought about this over a few years and I decided that if I could devise a method or a tooling, which is what this is, and that would be able to keep the club in a constant radius. The radius enables you to learn uh, the feeling of what the top players in the world do in that there, as you swing it, we have a connection and it are always in a position both in the plane and the arc and especially through the balls. The key in the, it, with the radius is maintaining a stretch. You never do this or you never do this and there's, there's the impact. So it has multiple uses and I'm really excited about it. I've used it in my own game. I've seen great improvement. I want to thank you for, for bringing this great tool to, to the industry. I've used it with my students and have seen great progress with it as well. Uh, so we're excited to bring the radius to you and to tell you how it can help your game. The design of it is so that the Velcro snaps into position on the club and it has an adjustable slider here for your height and that's very important. I want a certain amount of stretch here, and that will set up my radius. Now, if I broke the radius, it would look something like this, with the strap doing this. So as long as we keep this strap both back and through, you're developing good habits for the golf swing. Okay, I would, I'd like to demonstrate just on how the radius is put on the club. After putting around your neck, the loop, looping around the neck, we adjust, we, the club should square up to the line of flight, the club here on the ground representing the line of flight. And I close the Velcro tightly around the butt of the club and retaining the proper club position and address. And I, now I have a slight adjustment if needed here, it's called a slider, and that is to adjust to be, I want this to be a stretch feeling, not loose. You must feel a stretch at all times as you swing. Even your follow through, you always want this, not this. Well, the slider has arrows on it, which is the arrows point to the center, center of the club. And then you have the up and down adjustment in the length of the slider right here and you can make it shorter or longer to fit the golf stance. Well George brought the radius into me and, and asked me to, to demonstrate and, and play around with it and um, I gotta be honest you know at first I just said sure George and uh, kind of put it on the desk and kept teaching and trying working with my students trying to make everyone a, as good as I can make them. Uh, George followed up and, and when I started to use it, I started with any of the training aids that we use, we're looking for the best training aids out there to help our students get better. So I started to use it in my own swing and saw some drastic improvements on things that I've been working on for years in my own swing. And when I started to use it with my students, uh, it was really exciting to see the different changes. So I would have uh, plenty of students that would get set up and you know just trying to get them to take the club on the proper plane line is a rather challenging motion. We would set little obstacles in there for them and have them swing over and we would see things uh, that would develop that weren't necessarily correct um, so their hands would get disconnected and they're trying to go over because uh, you know that's what we they thought they were supposed to be doing and they were trying to swing under but they were doing it in this exaggerated motion because the swing they came in, in with was inside and over the top. So what was exciting was when we used the radius correctly, you know, they'd get the tension and they'd start to turn their body and all of a sudden the club just started to go right up the plane line. 
and we were using it not necessarily to fix the plane, but really to try to get a, a position correct at the top of the swing and to try to get the correct width at the top because most people, you'll see their elbows break down and they hinge their elbows. And the radius will fix that for you and create some width at the top. And it was exciting for me really to see the multiple fixes that were occurring without them even realizing that it was happening. You just take a normal position, just like you normally would. The only thing you're going to do again is make sure that this, that this stays, see, and even out into here. Most people do this, see, okay. or they quit. <laughs> see, but we want to be this way, and that everything stays straight and square this way. See, you don't, you you're don't not. Have tension on the bottom of this thing. Yep, it stays the same. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, in, in study of golf and the great players in golf, they talk about the V or this very retaining this during the stroke and using the radius, it automatically does that for you. One thing it does, it, it helps develop follow through, right? Absolutely. It feels really solid. The putter just kind of stays down the line and the contact is really good. Everything stays in sync. You actually have to keep your head pretty still to hit a good putt, which is always important. Nick is demonstrating the improper way to pitch the ball with a flip, which is typical of your higher handicappers. But you must follow how to use the radius, which is to maintain a stretch throughout the swing. Uh, this is down the line. So you get to see the plane of the swing. Well, that is demonstrating the wrong swing from the outside. The club comes across the line. Uh, if you look at the path, it's from the inside. The ball's going right down the line. Those are perfect. You notice that the finish of every swing is that the position of the club, firm back, left hand, and the club is aligned with the left arm. I'm going to ask Nick to demonstrate the use of the radius and how it's helped his game. You know, and you watched me hit balls on the range, and it's something that I've struggled with a long time. And that was really not so much with the connection for my game, but with having my hands wide at the top. My arms, uh, as, as a player, I'd turn my body, and I'd want to collapse my arms. I'd feel wide, but it's, it's hard to get, get out there. And what this aid has really helped in my game is the ability to feel this connection and to feel my arms wide and away from my body at the top, which then allows me to, you know, maintain the radius through impact. So George, here, this is a, a training aid that we used to use with our, our students uh, quite a bit and it's, it's a good training aid and it's used to demonstrate swing plane and what I learned was that by using the radius you know it really helps our swing plane so this device here you can keep the club, club shaft coming through you know you can get the club on plane mm -hmm. which is a great aid the problem is 
we can't have our students take this to the range with them. So what we found was by just maintaining the stretch in this training aid that you created, just by maintaining this stretch as we come through, the club finds the proper swing plane on its own. And it's been a great, great aid. It's really easy to use and more importantly, convenient to take to the driving range. So swing plane is a, a, a real important part of ball striking and hitting the ball straight. Uh, so this aid here is going to help you get the club on plane, get the shaft coming from the inside and keeping the club and the shaft working down the line. So now, Chris, I want you just feeling the stretch in that radius as you're going back over to the top. Good. And what you'll notice on some of his other swings is that his club is in a laid off position at the top. So the club gets over here and he has plenty of width. His, usually his plane needs to be maintained a little bit, but with the radius, it's going to bring the club up on a better plane and the shaft is going to set over his shoulders a little bit more. Go ahead and set up to the ball there. See if you can keep that stretch back and through. And so as you see, you know, that ball, when, you, when you're getting that shaft on plane like that, isn't going to go hard left. Yep, just keep the stretch as you're going back and through another great part of the training aid is that, you know, it's multifunctional, you know, using with the driver, wedges, irons. You know, with the driver, I like it a little looser. You're just trying to maintain as much of the stretch as possible. There it is. That was beautiful. and all its multi-uses out there. For the cost, one of the greatest training aids out there. There's many trainings out there that, that only fix one thing, and the radius fixes multiple, multiple things for such a modest purchase. I'd like to thank George here, a uh, great PGA professional, for inventing such a great aid for this thank industry. You, thank you, Thank you. Thanks to Stonewater today for letting us use their facility. I know when you purchase this training aid, you're going to use it, and you're going to hit better golf shots and play better golf. That's right. <laughs>